and then when you finally get to make love with them, it's like... Hello, my base! Good afternoon! I am about to have the best lunch ever. Mm, look at the spring rolls. Oops, I'm in the light. Oh, oh, 360 view, 360 view. Ooh, they're so good. And I'm almost out of rice paper, which sucks. So I, I, <gasps> How much do I have? One, two. I still have three more left. I thought there was only one left. Yes, winning in life. Because then I have enough. For round number two, round number two, ooh, 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 ooh. And this is the last one, going in for the third round. Unfortunately, with only one spring roll, but oh well, it's better than just the original three that I thought that I had. Yeah, let's dip it in. Ooh. This is still quite a magical process for me. <laughs> Look, it almost looks like there's nothing in it. Look at that, look at that. And also the rice paper actually is quite firm. Like, um, even though it's soft, it doesn't tear. The look at my fingertips, the yellow, why the yellow? What is this? Now they're red, and yellow, yard, yellow. What is going on? That always makes me think of uh, David Soul comedy. Oh, what is going on YouTube? <laughs> you should definitely check out his, com uh, his, uh, his, uh, his channel, David Soul comedy. He's hilarious. The last one. Come here, my precious. I'm just working on my Valentine's video, which is going to be a love letter to India. Um, if you follow me for a longer period of time, you know that I can be a little bit of an emo. <laughs> I'm usually very happy, but sometimes I get so sentimental and la la la. So I decided um, to write India a love letter for Valentine's Day. So this is it. I made a voiceover already. I selected, no, well, I didn't select all the clips yet, and uh, but I did pick the music. So I need just need to finish it. And uh, of course, Stefan is my number one on Valentine's Day and I love my friends and family. But like, if I look at the world and the places that I saw, oh, India, India, you're my babe. Oh my gosh, ah, I did it, I did it. And it turned out so much better than I even uh, thought it would. I really hope you guys like this. And of course, India is my bae, but I love, you know, all the other countries as well. And um, if you like this format, like me writing a letter to the country I visited with all the memories and stuff like that, um, just let me know, put a thumbs up uh, on that video. And then uh, I can make all the other videos in that format because I really, really, really like it. So I hope you guys do too. Yeah, it's Stefan's home and he got us dinner. He got, he got. Ooh, ooh. Watch me, watch me, watch me weep, weep. Watch me, Nene. Let's go over her. What's in there? What's in there? Mmm, delicious fries. And over her, he has. Eh, eh, eh. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. <gasps> it's two, two veggie crockets. No, one is yours. Mm. Oh well, I'm gonna enjoy the price anyway. Mm. Yeah, almost. <laughs> of course, I'm going to put on the. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, mad sauce. Whoop! Winning in life. Yeah. Mmm, juiciness, yeah. And I already got potato flip slash potato orlof over here. So with uh, saute slash peanut sauce, or mayonnaise and onions, if you can see it, can you see it? But I'm having the extra sauce. You know, the girls got a double dip. Ooh, nice beauty. <laughs> We are at Arena and we're going to see that book. Yes, I'm so excited for that movie. It looks hilarious in the commercials and uh, yeah, I just really, really need to see it. I need it in my life. <laughs> Let's see if it's as good as I think it is. Deadpool, Amsterdam. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, this is really my kind of humor. I have kind of a raunchy uh, humor. 
I can appreciate. <laughs> okay, we were just outside and Stefan made a joke. Like, you need to stop vlogging because every time you vlog, the movies are sell sold out with, with the ones that we want to see. And we just came in and Deadpool was sold out. <laughs> That sucks, man. So we're just waiting here. Um, we're gonna get a subscription to the theater because we go here quite often and uh, it's just cheaper to get a subscription. So that's what we're gonna do now. No guarantee that we will be able to see Deadpool. Fingers crossed. And otherwise, we'll just go watch another movie. Hey, you guys, my bill. Stuff is always in my shots. But we made it! Deadpool it is. And we're going to watch it in IMAX. Review in three, two, one. Oh snap! All right. Uh, so there are very funny moments in the movie, but it's all like, um, how do you say that? Well, it's not for people who can't, you know, handle poo and pee and uh, you know, female male parts jokes. Um, the violence is extremely excessive. I was shocked. Uh, I can handle, but it was really extreme. Uh, overall, I think it's a good movie, but I will give it a seven. I expected more humor in it. And in the metro, going back home, we were just thinking of going to the movies tomorrow again. <laughs> because now we have the subscription and we can go unlimited. So, yeah, maybe, who knows? <laughs> We're definitely gonna make a lot more reservations and go to the movie theater to watch the new latest movies up to the point where you're like frustrated that there are no movies because you saw everything. Awesome. And we're home again! Earlier, before we left for the for the cinema, Stefan and I were watching the Amy Winehouse documentary. It looked like a really good documentary. We we weren't able to finish it because we needed to leave for the movie. Anyways, we were just wondering on our way back uh, what her biggest hit was. So it's not clear. Um, it seems like Back to Black was her biggest hit in the U.S. and um, what is the other one? Oh, Rehab did way better in Europe. I believe it's Rehab. What do you think? So, moving on from Amy Winehouse, um, it seems like Adele's biggest hit um, is Hello. While, seriously, let's be very, very, very honest, that's not her best song. Let's be very honest. So, my theory, well, actually it's not my theory, but I use it very often to describe, like, or to, how do you say that? To... Um, understand such phenomenons, uh, phenomenon, phenomenon, something like a phenomenon, <laughs> anyways, um, to understand such phenomenons, okay, I'll just stop saying that, like the crazy hype around Hello, and it's Eddie Murphy's Cracker Theory. Eddie Murphy has two shows, one is called Delirious, and the other one, I don't know what the other one is called, it's from the 80s, but they're still so very relevant. He wears leather suits. Like in one, he wears like a purple leather suit and the other one, a red one. It's, it, they're seriously hilarious. You need to see them if you haven't seen them yet. I think there, there, there should be clips of it on, uh, on, MTV, of, on MTV, on YouTube. But um, the cracker theory is, so he wants to explain why some men go completely crazy for a woman. And that's the cracker theory. So, like, if you've been hungry for, for instance, a week, and somebody gives you a cracker, wouldn't that cracker taste like the best cracker in the world? Like, there is crack in the cracker? And he's like, well, that's exactly what those women, or women, are doing to those men, because they're holding out on the love making, and then when you finally get to make love with them, it's like, oh my god, this is like the best woman I ever had. I'm seriously, I'm paraphrasing this, like he uses like way worse language than I do. <laughs> Anyways, he's like, oh my god, this is the best woman I ever had. Oh my god, I want to marry her, I want to have a baby, la 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 la. But then you start making love more, and then it's like, this old cracker again? <laughs> so that's my theory about Adele's hello. Like she was away for such a long time, and then she drops a song, and it's it's okay. It's not her best song, it's a good song. And everybody's like, oh my god, this is the best cracker I ever had. So, yeah, that's my theory about Adele. And I sincerely hope that's not her best sold song ever because she made like so many 
better songs which deserve that title anyways i'm signing off thank you for spending time with me don't forget to subscribe because i want to hang out with you put a thumbs up or you know what you don't have to i like hanging out with you but if you don't like hanging out with me that's okay i don't want to stalk you or anything anyways see you next time bye lol that one last final time when you clean up your ex-boyfriends ish <laughs> oh. Otro crispy but burn. Ah, ah.